subtle, humble, just like Roy. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a magical start to your week. Today we are learning about Walt's older brother, Roy Disney. If you like this video while you're watching, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a magical makeup Monday again. Now off to the story. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a magical start to your week. Today we are talking about a truly incredible human, Roy Disney. Now I already did a video on Walt Disney and their family and how they grew up, how they moved and all that good stuff. And the two had a very similar background. So I'm not gonna go into specific details in this video, but if you are interested in learning about the Disney family and how they grew up, I will link Walt's video down below. Roy Oliver Disney was born on June June 24th, 1893. Roy was actually Walt's older brother and played a pretty pivotal role in bringing the Disney companies to life. Now, prior to the Disney companies being formed, Roy also had a history in the military, except this time, Roy was actually of age, unlike Walt when he enlisted in the military. You should check Walt's video out. I think you're gonna enjoy it. In 1917, Roy Disney enlisted in the US Navy. He was only in the Navy for about two years before he was discharged. Ultimately, Roy was discharged because he got diagnosed with tuberculosis. I feel like it's crazy that like you hear these stories of people not long ago getting diagnosed with things like tuberculosis and things like that that were, you know, a long recovery time, it meant the person was really sick, etc. And like today we have just like a vaccine for it that we give to like babies. Roy would leave the military and then head to LA where he would recover from tuberculosis. In LA, he would also work as a banker. His work in LA actually plays a pretty critical role in our story. Roy was actually still recovering from tuberculosis in 1923 when his little brother Wall came to him with a business proposition about starting a company to make cartoons and animations. I don't know about you, but if my older sister came to me and was like, hey, I know you're recovering from tuberculosis and all that, but want to start a company with me to make, you know, cartoons and animations? I'd probably look at her and tell her she's absolutely crazy. Lucky for us, Roy didn't. He took a flyer on his little brother and we should be so thankful. Roy would end up becoming basically like the financial guru of the whole operation. I think it's fair to say that while Walt was the creative side of the operation, Roy was more of the money guy for sure. I feel like every good duo definitely needs at least one person who's financially savvy, you know? You need at least one guy making sure the lights are on, etc. Being the money guy, Roy would always have to go out to, you know, actually find the money to fund Walt's creative projects. We're gonna take a quick pause on Roy's business life and chat for a sec about his personal life. In 1925, Roy marries the love of his life, Edna Francis. Roy actually met Edna Francis back in Kansas City, Missouri when she was working for the Kansas City Times. Quick fun story about Edna here. She actually ended up introducing Raymond Arnold Disney, Roy's older brother, to her friend, Meredith Boynton. Well, wouldn't you know, Raymond and Meredith actually end up getting married and the four become lifelong friends and family. Roy and Edna would go on to have one son together, Roy Edward Disney. Now Roy, their son, would end up becoming vice chairman of the Disney companies way down the line. Okay. Back to the main story. Fun fact, in 1929, Walt actually bought out all of Roy's shares in the company. So Roy became basically an equal partner rather than a co-producer of the company. Roy made a lot of the business decisions and he was the guy responsible for forming Buena Vista Distribution Company in 1953. Now when his younger brother Walt passes away, it's time for Roy to step up and take a more present leadership position in the Walt Disney Company. In the late 1960s and into the 70s, Roy would become the CEO of Disney. Roy actually postponed his retirement to oversee the construction of Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Walt Disney World was a $400 million project that Roy Disney was able to finish with no 
outstanding death. Crazy. That is like a remarkable, incredible feat. I don't know how he did it. I really don't. When I found that out, I was literally baffled. I was like, wow, just wow. I can't think of many companies that have actually finished that big of a project with no outstanding debt. I mean, truly incredible. Again, back to what I originally said. Roy, seriously, is a financial guru. After the opening day of Walt Disney World, Roy finally got the chance to, you know, retire. Unfortunately, that retirement was short-lived. Just two months later, Roy actually ends up passing away. Fun and kind of strange slash weird fact is that Roy passed away five days after Walt's fifth anniversary of passing. Weird, right? Roy was buried next to his wife, Edna Francis, in Forest Lawn Memorial Park in LA. Throughout his life, Roy always rejected the publicity and fame that came with being Walt Disney's brother. I mean, Walt was kind of a celebrity at that point, you know? Roy's nephew, Charles Elias Disney, chose to name his son, Charles Roy Disney in Roy's honor. Now there are a few ways in which Roy's legacy is celebrated throughout the parks and I wanted to share them all with you as well. One of the railroad locomotives in Walt Disney World in Florida and in Hong Kong Disneyland was actually named after Roy. The California Institute of Arts named the primary performance space for the Herb Albert School of Music the Roy O. Disney Concert Hall. If you go to Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World in Orlando, there's a statue of Roy seated on a bench next to Minnie Mouse. It's actually in the town square section of Main Street USA, so it should be right in the middle of all the action. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure I know exactly where this is or if I've actually seen it. Next time I'm in Magic Kingdom, I definitely wanna make it a priority to try to visit this bench. I just, I think I know where it is, but I'm not 100% certain. Fun fact, there are actually two more replicas of this statue in other parks around the world today. One of the replicas is right outside of the Team Disney building in the headquarters in Burbank, California, and the other one can be found in the Tokyo Disneyland theme park. Fun fact, there is actually a suite dedicated to Roy located on the top floor of the Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel. Roy O. Disney also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Roy's ceremony date for his star actually occurred on July 24th, 1998. What an incredible and humble journey. I mean, Roy really didn't want to take any of the spots light away from his brother and really wanted to live a normal life. Relatively speaking, of course. I mean, he is a Disney. <laughs> Name kind of has a lot of recognition, you know? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this story and found it as interesting as I did. If you enjoyed this video while you're watching, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a Magical Makeup Monday again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a magical rest of your week and I will see you all next time. Bye!